What's up guys? It's me here again today instead of Jeez. Um back with some more ancestors. Uh last time we left off after changing generations. Which means we're now this elder monkey. Ape, sorry, ape. I'll never I'll never learn that. Um and I figured we'd do some exploring today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to figure out where my adult monkeys are. Apes. Damn it! God damn it, Jenny. Okay, we have a female here. We're going to get the next generation going again. Uh, we're looking for a male. That's a female. That's a male, but he's... Uh, Next to the adult male, you can see that it says family related. So, uh, we're gonna have to pick the other male we have here. This guy. And just like we did the last time, hold down B, wait for the audio cue. Do that four times. Until the bonding bar is full. Then we go over to the sleeping spot and mate. We lie down, push B to call our mate, and wait for him to move over here. He's sitting here, hold down B again. Look away, because we're not cheese. We're not creepy like that. Hold down B to give birth. We're skipping the scene again. Do the same thing again. All right. And every now and again, You'll see when you uh, get babies, uh, in the top right it'll, it'll pop up with a new mutation. If you go into evolution, you'll see here those orange circles. Uh, those are the mutated babies. When the circle is this small, uh, basically means it's still the baby right now, which we can't do anything with. And when it's more bright and a uh, slightly bigger that means the uh, baby is matured it's one of our adults now and if we unlock any skills to connect to it uh, we would be able to keep that mutation in our line for the next generation but right now we don't really have anything that connects to it so just have to wait. Um, what I've started doing is take the female and like I mentioned last time practice the walking upright. A no first X for senses then A for standing up. Um, we're pretty low on neuronal energy right now which means we couldn't learn any new skills if we wanted to. And something that, for some weird reason, gives a lot of neuronal energy is when you change generations, your elders obviously die. And these bone piles will appear in your colony, settlement, whatever you want to call it. And if you stand next to one of those and hit Y to analyze it, that gives a lot of neuronal energy. So basically now we know that's Pick, uh, which was one of our elders. Um, then also if you hold, uh, if you push Y to go into your senses, you'll see here the symbols over the regular uh, apes and here you'll see a little, like, little skull which marks the skeletons. I'm gonna look the other ones up there. So we're gonna go over here. 
climb up there and analyze this one as well. So we'll have a fish over here and we'll go. Um, you're the other female. So we'll push Y, push A to switch to the other A. Now we're controlling her. We'll go over to this male. <clears throat> and start the grooming again. So we can get our second set of babies going. Same principle. After a while it just works automatically for you. Just... Same process over and over again. This game... Like, especially in the beginning, is a lot about uh, just repeating things over and over again. Um, which will make your apes learn. Which will make things uh, go easier. It'll give more tolerance for when you hit the audio cue. Yeah. Baby number three. And number four. All right. We'll take these piggy back again. And we'll switch to the male. I prefer to just when I run around to explore, I prefer to use the males. Um I don't know, and I leave the babies at home actually. Um usually just because that way you can be safer if you're running around outside. You'll get attacked, uh, you'll run way too far, you're not sure if you're gonna make it back. And if you have two babies with you, you're just risking those as well, which would influence your next generation. But I prefer to just use one male or one of the elders. Um, those have less life expectancy and stamina and all those things though. Um, so I just go out on one male alone and explore like that. So first, after we wake up, we'll go back to the water, we'll drink, make sure all of our apes are okay. okay. Put on water, go grab some berries, eat something. And then we will grab our stick. And over here we should still have our uh, chopper somewhere. There we go, this one. Pick up this one as well. We'll take that with us just so we can make uh, pointed sticks on the fly uh, while we're out and about. Um, every time you switch generations, a lot of the things you previously already uh, identified around your settlement um, are going to reset, which isn't a big deal though. You just uncover them again, super easy. I'll just do this real quick. Identify these things. All of these bushes here. Alright. Now we walk past here. Past our sleeping spots. Out here. Where we found the basalt last time. Uh, right over there. But we're not going this way. Instead, we're going over here to this route. Which is a fairly easy way down. Just follow the route. Jump onto this tree. And climb down. And when you're running around down here... Um... You'll... Hear animals, you'll 
sometimes see them depending on what it is. Um, in certain areas, you just have to be careful because you know there's going to be predators. Um, one thing that does help a little, little bit um, is if you uh, push. Why are we in the tree? Um, if we push X to use our senses and then push B to use the hearing, you'll see those like concentric circles again. And you can hear anything that's close by. Like for example, over here. You can hear something over there. You can try to focus on it. But we don't know what it is. And if we put hold Y on that now, we can memorize it. We can go over there and try to figure out what it is. And now you'll see in the bottom left that our that little eyeball uh, is blinking. And if you listen very closely, you can also see it over there. We'll hear a hissing. And we'll see the snake over here. These things are very quick. Um, and when you get close enough, it'll pop up with a prop to intimidate. But the snake saw us already. So we're gonna hold down A and push the movement joystick towards the snake. When you hear the cue, you let go of A and your monkey attacks. And if you get the perf the timing perfectly right, uh, you can either, like with the small animals like the snakes, it goes fairly easy. Um, you can usually kill them with the first shot. Uh, with the bigger animals, you'll usually stab them. You'll have to do that multiple times uh, until you can kill them. Now we're standing here over this dead snake. It has that like weird particle effect smoke thing around it. And if we hold X, we can try to figure out what it is. We found a new gathering spot. Now, the, the good thing is we already have a stone with us, so we'll switch that, that to the right hand. And we get the option to butcher the snake by holding down A. It does look very... I feel like it looks more brutal than it needs to. Um, but we can now, if we switch the stone back to our left hand, grab this meat here. We don't know what it is. We'll inspect it. It looks kind of weird. I feel like that definitely looks weird. But we've discovered a new food. We can try to take a bite from it. In the beginning, uh, especially meats, uh, tend to make the apes sick. If you eat too much of it. There's no specific... Uh, point at which it starts making you sick but the more you eat it um, there we go now we're sick I'm just gonna drop this move down to the water oh there's even coconuts here that'll make it easier we'll climb up this palm tree grab a coconut jump down uh, we'll open the coconut And we'll drink from the coconut to get rid of the poisoning. And whenever you uh, use your tools or kill something, you find a new animal. You'll see uh, in the middle, pretty much in the middle of the screen, um, you'll see evolution feeds pop up. Um, those give you the uh, years ahead of science and generally determine how far you move ahead in time uh, when you evolve. So we're trying, uh, if we stand up, you can see those diamond shapes again. Uh, that one over here. 
Those are the ones you want to discover. There's a whole bunch more over this way. Um, that one up there is our uh, settlement. Already found that one. And there's an, a whole lot more things to discover. I'll try to figure this out. And while the more things you identify, um, the more especially your intelligence uh, evolves, I guess, uh, the more skills you get and the easier it's going to be for you to identify things. Right now we have to pretty much identify every single square by itself. And at a certain point, if you do it often enough and uh, repeat it enough, you'll be able to identify several items that are close to each other at the same time. So these four over here, for example, will just all pop up at the same time, making your life a lot easier. But I think we're going to try to get over to this uh, diamond here. So we hold down Y on it. And discover this. And again, we get the Assassin's Creed uh, synchronization. Fly around. Discovered a new landmark. I'm really, really impressed with how this game looks. It's a very beautiful game, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, what we're now trying to find, because we... Whenever you do actually attack an animal, or defend yourself, um, you, you lose your weapon. Or your pointed sticks, anyway. So now we're trying... Over there is some more branches. So that's where we're gonna go. And right down here. And the other thing we see down here is if we go in here, we see an animal over here, which we can't identify. We can also try if we tap X, try our hearing, if we can identify it with the sounds, but we can't yet. So we're just gonna be super sneaky. Try to only go as close as we have to, to grab a stick. Wait, which hit? Oh. Okay. We go back up here, just to be safe. Keep our eyes on that. We switch the rock to the other hand, uh, the stick and the rock again and break the branch we go grab another one switch again try to alter it there we go okay and now gonna see if we can fight that we have our pointed stick in our right hand which is the hand we're gonna attack with we get up close to it it'll come at us hold the uh, direction uh, like the, the joystick to move into the direction of the animal hold down a and when you hear the sound you let go and what you saw there is Basically, my stick breaking. Uh, but whenever you actively attack, uh, the animal gets scared away. They usually run off, uh, take a couple minutes, and they will come back. That that warthog we just found, that's definitely coming back. And if you listen, you can actually hear it running around. And there it is. 
And you also see when you get close enough, it'll give you the cue to intimidate something. So if we hold down B, we can try that or not. So our, our next stick broke. Um, but yeah, it'll give you the cue to intimidate animals. Uh, in the beginning, that's not going to be very successful. Um, but the more you kill those animals and the more skills you get, um, or if you're traveling with a group of mon uh, apes, uh, you'll be able to scare away animals and scare away bigger animals. There we go. You managed to stab it. So now you can see it actually running off with a stick in its side. I'm in this game I'm sometimes surprised how many sticks animals can have inside of them, apparently. Okay, where did it go? We use our hearing again. And we can see it down here. We can try. Again. Movement key. And the A. And we managed to kill it. These actual, like, the kill animations, in my opinion, maybe slightly overkill. Um, again, we can inspect the body. Try to figure out what that is. Another new gathering spot. Again, we switch the rock. Butcher the carcass. Okay. And with the larger animals, there's actually something besides the meat you can grab in here. Which is, per body, one bone. Inspect that. Discovered a new tool. Um, these bones you can basically use as a club. Um, so as a weapon. I'm still pretty sure that the sharpened stick it does more damage. Uh, but if you have nothing else around, this will definitely do to defend yourself. Now we can grab the meat, because this is a different kind of animal. Different kind of meat. So we grab a piece and inspect it again. We discovered mammal meat as a food source. We eat a couple bites. Just to try and get used to it, until we get poisoned by it again. Go back down to the water. Because how blurry the screen is is really annoying me. I always try to get rid of the poisoning as soon as possible. You could technically uh, just wait it out. But like weird... The, the weird way the like, screen looks, the way it's like clouded over. Kind of not so pretty. We're gonna grab ourselves a coconut. Open it. Three hits. Drink. And get rid of the poisoning. There we go. Alright. While we're here, there's more branches. Make another stick. Uh, one more time. There we go. Alright. So now, we see what else we can discover. Also, if you, um, while you're using your intelligence or your senses, if you stand up, you can actually turn around 360. Meanwhile, if you're down on all fours and go into your senses, You'll only have a 180, a little more than 180 degrees. But your view will be limited and you can't turn around all the way. 
So if you're exploring Dana, it expands your reach and just makes your life a little bit easier. Besides that, we we want to stand up and actually walk on our legs as much as possible anyway. Granite rocks. Hiding spot. Finding all the fiber that's up in the trees. The fiber that we've discovered is uh, good to stop bleeding. Rocks all over the ground. Branches. Fishing spots along the river. Like all of these things you want to try in the beginning it's kind of tedious uh, because you have to do every single thing separately um, but you want to try to identify as many of them as possible um, just to train your senses and then we'll go back over here actually And we'll see what else we can find. This looks interesting. This looks kind of, kind of swampy. And if you use your intelligence, you'll see there's another uh, landmark here. And the other thing um, that we saw, if you guys remember the cutscene from exploring the very first location up by our settlement, there was a meteor. And you'll see that you see this black smoke here uh, in the pretty much in the middle of the screen right now. That's where the meteor hit. We're actually going to try to get over there. Which means we'll climb up here a little bit. Up the rocks and try to get to the smoke, which is coincidentally right by this landmark we want to discover anyway. And now you'll see that our screen, as far as long as you or as soon as you move far enough away from the area you know your screen will go weirdly black like this and you'll see like eyes and teeth popping up and everything um that just means basically you're out of um the area your apes are comfortable in so if you have to what you have to do is use your senses to identify as many items as you can until um that little circle that's above your eye and your dopamine level uh, fills up. Like it fills up with every single item you identify. Fills up a little bit more. And at a certain point, you identify enough items. Got some things up here in the trees. Another one. Some more here. It'll, if the circle is filled up, It'll say surroundings rationalized, reach conquer zone. And you'll see this these white particles floating in the air. And it's it's a little hard to make out right now. Pretty much in the center of the screen, you can see it through the leaves, like a little bit uh, of a, like a, a glow. That's where we want to try to go. So you pretty much can follow just the, the white particles and they will lead you to this large uh, white orb where you hold down B to conquer your fear and now this area um, is another area we're actually comfortable in. And right here is what we were looking for. It's a big black mound of dirt. You'll actually see a little bit of charred earth around it. And we can inspect that. <laughs> uh, 
And we can actually hear warthogs in the background. Uh, right there. So we discovered a meteor site. Uh, this warthog is going to come attack us. Or we can try to intimidate it. it. Does not do anything. So instead, we'll just attack. Okay. Now that we've got our one hand empty anyway, um, after you've discovered this meteor site, you can also pick up this rock in here, inspect that, and discover the meteorite. Um, from what I've found so far, um, you can use it to alter things just like you could a regular granite rock. And we found a new predator. Um, but it doesn't really work any better. So now we've discovered the tiger saber tooth kind of animal as well. Um, but those will need a couple more sticks. And the warthog is back. And if that's what I was actually gonna say a second ago, but we'll get up here first. Um, we're not gonna get attacked. Easiest way to make sure of that uh, is what I usually do. Just climb just a tiny little bit up a tree. And we see another animal. A ginormous snake. Um, the other thing you can do if, like right now, we have we don't have a spear with us. Um, so we're not going to do a whole lot of damage. Um, if you, when you get the, when the animal comes at you, and instead of holding the direction joystick forward you hold it to the side or backwards basically point it away from the animal that's coming at you and hold a wait for the cue you can dodge an attack a warthog is waiting down there for us the snake is just moving around and the cat is definitely coming back but right now we don't know where it is so you have the options to either attack or dodge but uh, we lost our basalt, basalt grinder down there somewhere. Um, yeah, in the beginning, especially, uh, if you attack or dodge, the chances of you actually dropping your weapon or anything else you have in the other hand are fairly high. So now we, we lost the meteorite rock we had in our hand and our uh, basalt chopper. We'll do really quick uh, is discover this landmark. We've discovered the big swamp. Oh yeah, except for those uh, little snakes that we saw in the uh, in the very beginning the green ones um pretty much every other predator is fairly easy to see uh even from a little further away you can hear them right now the warthog is still sitting down there the snake is uh now it's just past the trees but this direction. Um, but we're it's also getting late again. Uh, it's now 9 p.m. So we're gonna move back home. Which is just this way. Uh, if you hold Y, we'll actually see up here this little like the the diamond with the little leaves in it. That's our settlement. So that's where we want to move to. And we found the big snake. Dodge the attack because we don't have anything on us to fight and we don't want to get hit by that so we just run away as fast as we can which is a very very valid strategy in the very beginning and it also improves your skills so running away is definitely not necessarily bad Keep walking this way. The easiest way to find your way back home, if you're uh, exploring the jungle here, 
is to just follow this river back up. Because this river leads directly to the waterfall um, that our settlement is on. So we just keep going. In the back here, we can actually see the little cliff. We can see the route we walked down, or the, yeah, the fruit, vine, branches, whatever we climbed down. We're gonna climb back up this tree. And when we're high enough, jump over and just walk up on it. We go back in here and we're back in our settlement. And now, while we were out exploring um, and dodged and attacked, you've seen that we did unlock quite a few... Uh, Abilities? And I mean quite a few. Um, we've increased our range for non-edible resources. We can try to learn as many of these as possible. With as much energy as we have. So our senses are now better. Which basically just means we can detect uh, items that are further away. Um, another motricity. Which means our, uh, for this one, our movement speed with, when it comes to dodging and attacking is faster. We got another one, dexterity. Um, which these are, I feel like, very important. Uh... This one, the chances of dropping an item following a dodge are decreased. So if you maximize this skill, eventually uh, you'll actually be able to keep the items in your hand while dodging. So you don't have to always go back and pick them up again, dodge again, get near the animal to pick up your items again. It's very tedious after a while. So you definitely want to try to maximize that skill. And the way to do that is, funnily enough, going close to animals over and over again and just practicing your dodging. And we get another motricity one, which actually allows us to stand and walk upright for longer. And when we've learned that, we're pretty much out of neuronal energy. Even if we still got a couple more things we could learn. Pretty much out of energy. And we're also running pretty much out of time. So I think we're going to call it here. We had a little adventure. Did some exploring of the jungle. Found some neighbors and some wildlife. And we're going to continue this adventure the next time. If you like this video, guys... Do us a huge favor, push the like button, hit subscribe for more videos, uh, cheese playing arc, m even more of me derping around in ancestors. We'd really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.